Hey guys, this is Chuck building the CRP4848 uh, build log video, I think number four now, I think. Um, I'm just going to do a quick video talking about how to adjust these linear carriages, okay? On CNC Router Parts website, there is a great tutorial under linear carriage adjustment. I'm going to try and show you as best I can with these on the rails uh, to kind of show you how to adjust that. It's super, super easy. Okay, the first thing when you're putting these rails on, this is the spot where your adjustable bearing mounts. It's on the other side of this, okay? Uh, these bottom ones, okay? So when you're putting this thing on, the easiest way that I found to put these carriages on was to have this about a turn and a half loose, right? And then take one of your bumpers off and then slide the carriage on there, okay? Now, what you want to do is you want to check for all bearing engagement on your rail, all right, so move your rail left and right, and what I did was like stick my finger on the bearing and then pull it and see if the if my finger pressure could stop the bearing from moving. If it did, I knew it was too loose. Okay, so here's how you do it. It's really tight clearance, so what you have to do is, for me, it was nice and easy. I pulled my machine off the, the tabletop so it hung over so I could stick my hand underneath on the inside of this uh, extrusion and get to the bolt. There is the bolt right there. You can kind of see it. Boink. It's a half inch bolt. Okay. What you want to do is loosen that up about two inches so that that bolt shaft can, uh, can play inside here. Then you're going to take this set screw and turn it in just about an eighth to a quarter turn at a time until you start to see this thing start to engage, right? Do the finger test again where you hold your finger against the bearing, move the carriage, make sure the bearing still moves against the pressure of your finger. Then when you're satisfied, fit your half inch wrench in there and just start cranking it down. The best way to get to this bearing is pull this carriage to the end of this gear rack so it hangs right here so you can stick the wrench right up in there and tighten it down. Okay. Uh, once you're happy with that and, and this bolt is tightened down, Tighten up that set screw just with finger pressure to kind of hold it from falling back out. Um, what you're looking for is a smooth movement. If it's bumpy or it feels gritty, that means the bearing is too tight. Okay, so back off that set screw, loosen that back up, and do it again. Um, give yourself some time to adjust these carriages because it's going to pay dividends in the end when everything's working as it should. Another disclaimer I should tell you is once I mounted the gantry riser, and I linked basically the two carriages together, I had to come back and readjust these because something about when they're linked together with this gantry riser, um, it may throw one of your bearings off again, so you may have to come back and do it. But don't freak out. Do an initial quick adjustment with this just on by itself. Do the same with the other side. Mount your gantry riser and then check your bearings again using the finger test. Again, just hold your finger against the bearing, move it, and see if that bearing is still moving. Okay, real nice and easy. When it's all said and done, I'm able to push it with one finger and uh, it's just smooth movement. Okay? All right, that is the linear carriage adjustment. Um, another thing I'll say about the rails, make sure your rails are nice and clean. Okay? Especially the part where it engages. You can almost see, you can almost see where the bearing is riding right there. See that discoloration on the rail there? where it kind of goes right there. That's where the bearing's riding. It's not here. So I didn't really clean these that well. So what I did was, once the gantry riser was connected to the linear carriages and I was moving this back and forth, I took some WD-40, sprayed the inside of all the bearings and then moved it to one end and then wiped the rail down. And then moved it back to the other end and then wiped the rail down. I kept doing that until I got a clean rag. And then I greased up the bearings <clears throat> and uh, later on I'm probably going to put a coat of carnauba wax on the, uh, the rails themselves. But super smooth movement, put a little bit of lubrication, also helps with uh, rust prevention and things like that. Um, again, put your, uh, put your brush rails on. i got to take this off and put this other bolt in there. Um, put these brush holders on before you get cracking or get too far into it. Okay, guys, I think that'll do it for this video. More to come. My next video... Um, when I get a little bit of time, probably in about a week or so, I'm going to be putting on the gantry and I'll talk to you guys about how I square that off and how to measure it correctly and precisely 
so that you get a good uh, seating of that gantry. Um, okay, hey guys, thanks for watching again. This is Chuck CRP4848. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya!